like physics. You better feel this. No. Albert Einstein's greatest contribution was in the field of the theory of motion. The relativity between two moving objects is his sole contribution to physics. Einstein was a phony, fake liar, plagiarist, and thief. He misinterpreted Michael Morley as ether drift. This proof of a vacuum in which photons propagate at C, a fudged fixed constant, axiomatic steady rate, and even though it's been proven light speed is variable, BSL is theory and relativity is a principle. Stephen Hawking's mathematical predictions based on Einstein's gravitational constant equations were theory until the 70s when astronomers were making observations of quasars, pulsars, binary stars, and stellar supernovae. Found stationary source, long duration red shifted X rays to be common no. using deep space radio wave frequency receivers and super IBMs. Hawking published his findings as if they were irrevocably proven. By the time the Hubble telescope was launched, public opinion had already determined to not double check the original findings. Instead, gamma rays replaced supernovae as black holes being born. Yo. I'm so tired of standing on the shoulders of these so-called giants, impotent old white men with no understanding, feeling nervous, insecure they might be found out to be the frauds they are. If you want to perceive the universe, you don't need the stars of the short history of science. You just need to open your own eyes and observe what is real with the full openness of your own mind. Yo. Yo, they didn't invent it, why give them credit? Why waste the space in your brain on remembering their names? Like Columbus discovered America, there were already people living there. You act like science is a new religion, it's just another form of the oldest profession, perpetuating the lie that human history is in some way worth preserving. All modern religions were based on sacred science in their ancient origins, it's already there, all just waiting to be discovered, who cares? Who gets there? First, yo, Isaac Newton's Principia was based on Descartes' coordinate system, which only defines space as flat, two-dimensional, what they call Euclidean. Galileo Galilei was imprisoned by the Pope for questioning the Copernican theory, and as a direct result of that, we learn about Johannes Kepler, but not Tycho Brahe. On the backs of the elementalists stand Archimedes, Pythagoras, and even Aristotle, but the pre-Socratics are called sophists, and is relegated as a ship inside a bottle. Yo. No one knows Thales, Heraclitus, or Zeno, but everyone knows J. Robert Oppenheimer, so tell me who the giants are. The roll the loaded dice of Erwin Schrodinger. No. Niels Bohr and David Bohm, father of the atom, Paul Dirac and Edward Fermi, define the characteristic uncertainty by statistics at the start of quantum theory. No, it's just a theory. Will our grandchildren still be made to suffer through the same institutional education, and if they do, will they learn about the interconnectedness theory of modern physicists like John Bell? Will they have wireless electricity as envisioned for us by our own grandparents' generations, physicists like Nikola Tesla? Are our own minds any less persecuted now by the powers that be than Galileo was? Tony Smith's theories were banned from Berkeley. The Oregon energy scalar wave fields the inverse square law light from a single photon antimatter particles in the unification of the four forces at Planck time after the Big Bang. Even superstring dimensions, cold and collabi U-shapes, and M-theory, all of these things are only theories to mathematicians. Real proof can only come from observation with understanding.